assalamu alaikum this is a lecture 11 of information and communication technologies and in this lecture i am going to discuss about computer ethics and computer concerns directly impacting the human life in terms of intellectual property information uh, health concerns and environment concerns so here are the lecture contents in this lecture i will cover wide ranging topic from intellectual property rights from computer ethics to impact of computer on human health then uh, i will discuss briefly about the digital divide and accessibility issues of computer systems and technology to different uh, areas and different uh, sects of human culture and finally there will be discussion about the environmental concerns that computers have put on the society and overall environment so information is very vital and in computer systems information is everything we have got and most of the information is created by some original creative authors therefore it must be protected against unlawful usage and this refers to the intellectual property rights intellectual property is the property of a person which is created through the conception and the abilities of mind rather than the actual physical property so it is an intangible form and often results in tangible solutions and products so in general intellectual property rights are the rights of a person to which the creators of original creative works are entitled to have so these often come in different variants such as copyrights patents trademarks uh, symbols uh, other corporate logos etc so simplest form is to provide the copy rights this is a form of protection available to the creator of original artistic or literary works usually it lasts until 70 years after the creator death and for corporate copyrights or anonymous works it usually lasts about 95 years from the date of publication or 120 years from the date of creation whichever is shorted and in most countries it is registered with some copyright office so you have seen copyright statements in different uh, versions and in different spaces for example many of the books contain a copyright statement many websites have this symbol which shows some copyright uh, reserved for some particular author or publisher so you often see website copyright notices so that you whenever you use information from that particular source you have to uh, mention the original source therefore the information is copy righted to uh, the original authors or publishers and they have the right to allow you to access information so as i have mentioned in the previous slide copyrights and intellectual copyrights come in a different forms so if you look at this product we have several intellectual property uh, property rights so for example we have a watermark embedded into the image that is not visible so usually intellectual property rights uh, can be protected using the digital watermark which is a subtle alteration of digital content that is not noticeable but that can identify the copyright holder so for this purposes you have the digital rights management software which controls the use of copyright work so you can limit who can view print or copy a document and you can control the use of downloaded content for example to the number of devices a file can be copied to or exploration of any video movie 
So another form of intellectual property right is a trademark which is a word, a phrase or a symbol or a design that identifies goods or products. So it can include protection for domain names and domain name disputes can be brought up to the world intellectual uh, property organization. So another with these trademarks are just the symbols uh, to show a particular brand. Another way to protect your intellectual property right is to file for the patents. So patents usually protect invention. So whenever an originator or an original author creates an invention, they can file for the patent so that no other person is able to replicate those results in their own product. And if they want to replicate this uh, your product, they have to pay you some money. So this usually lasts for about 20 years and you can also protect a business practice or, or procedure such as uh, the Coca-Cola has mm, protected their patents of the uh, their product for about 100 years. So there are different uh, example websites such as Priceline.com which is used uh, to, uh, to have the prices for the patents. And another example is uh, Amazon.com and they, they have the patent of one click purchase. So these are expensive to get but these are very lucrative. So here is an example of the uh, different trade works as you can see McDonald's, eBay, iFi and real different companies. So here is an uh, illustration of a patent granted by the United States design patent etc. So whenever you are dealing with the computer systems and information, you must deal it with the proper etiquette and pro proper professional behavior. So these are often referred as computer ethics. That means you have to follow ethics to use the computer and the information associated with it. Because most of the time the information associated with the computer is directly linked to the users or other uh, originators of the information. Therefore, ethics tells you the overall standard of moral conduct and they can vary with the individual and the religious beliefs. They can vary with respect to country or race or culture. So there are different kinds of ethics. For example, you can have some personal ethics which show you a guide uh, about your personal behavior. So you set the standards about your personal uh, ethics and you adhere to those standards to have a better behavior. However, uh, not all personal uh, behaviors lie inside the ethics. Therefore, people have formed business ethics which shows a guideline to the business policies, decisions and actions. And finally, the more sophisticated term for the computers is to have computer ethics, which concern moral conduct related to computer use. So individuals and businesses need to make ethical decisions every day, therefore they have to follow the ethical practices of computer use. And whenever you are using a copyright material, you have to adhere the ethical principles of using the copyright material. So here is an example in which an instructor submits an electronic version of student paper. The results are usually available online almost immediately. So in which uh, if a student has copied a text from another source and they have not mentioned that they have copied it from another source and claim that it is their work or their own uh, creation therefore these uh, this uh, information this information can be checked against some already published information 
So the black text here was correctly identified as being original. The red text was correctly identified as being taken from another website on the online article. The green text was correctly identified as being taken from another website definition. So these copyright checking softwares include uh, to check uh, from books and web based articles and there is a need to properly credit the sources to avoid this plagiarism and plagiarism is a serious concern in educational environment where students originate the information and, and copy it from other sources and claim it is their original work and this has led to the strict consequences for plagiarisms and online tests for plagiarisms are available and widely used by the uh, educational institutes. So plagiarism is copying of someone else's idea and presenting it as your own. So you must also use the ethical principles uh, in all of the copyrighted materials and music is uh, one of the other examples in which many websites are available to download music uh, free of the cost and there are concerns surrounding such peer-to-peer -peer file sharing sites and copying purchase song for personal use usually considered fair use and DRM controls the impact of downloaded files purchased through CDs etc and many download today are DRM free mp3 format similar concept should be applied to the movies that means you should not uh, download and even should, you should not provide free movies to uh, the uh, unauthorized or undocumented uh, persons and the movie piracy rate is very high that means there are many legal copies surrounding uh, about every movie uh, in the internet and recording of real release movies are also created using DVDs and distributing of these copies and movies is illegal and unethical. DRM controls on the downloaded movies and can slow the piracy rate. And the legal prosecution for copyright violation for both music and movies is increasing worldwide. You should also use uh, information and resources ethically and there are many schools and companies are following such code of ethics. So these code of ethics are usually uh, translated from some general code of conduct that is a policy that specifies allowable use of resources by students or employees inside an organization or an educational institute. Students and employees should be familiar with such practices which are considered acceptable for the use of resources. In a more general term, if you talk about the world organizations, they have set some code of ethics, which are policies typically for industry or organization that specifies overall moral guideline adopted by the industry or organization. There is some employee or customer information in many businesses you need to decide what is ethical use of employee and customer information business schools are increasing uh, information on business ethics on a minor level cheating and falsifying information at uh, education institute has been increasing and it is quite remnant at university and college students so there are many academic honor codes which can be introduced to reduce the cheating in students. So you have to worry about the ethics more now than ever before because in every business practices and uh, decision making process you are involving yourself into the decisions that will implicate or uh, affect the life of uh, other persons therefore you have to uh, make very ethical decisions 
and these ethical decisions also involve some cultural considerations because ethics usually vary within a country as well as from another country to country because something that is ethical in our country may not be ethical in another country and similarly the reverse can happen so some acts may be socially acceptable or ethical in our country and not in another the laws also vary similarly like country to country and individual and businesses need to consider both legal and ethical issues in global transactions so some businesses and schools and corporations are including diversity and cross cultural training so at the same time uh, about considering yourself responsible for the computer use and ethics in the information use and reproduction and even in the distribution you should be very aware about different computer hoaxes and digital manipulation a computer hoax is an inaccurate statement or story spread through use of computers and you often receive different hoax messages which claim that any organization has uh, manipulated some data about you or you get some very wrong email when a person uh, stating some claim he has not professed so these are often related to the viruses and sometimes about health issues or political issues you should consider researching this information to find out its correctness before passing on to the others similarly some information can be digitally manipulated to form your opinion it is the digital altering of text images photographs music and other digital contents here are some beneficial ethical uses such as aging photos of uh, runways or altering photos of wanted criminals can augment the uh, the prosecution and in other helpful settings but most of the time digital manipulation is used for some vicious purposes and it can be used by media in more controversial settings it is difficult to tell in the future if a historical photo was manipulated so here is an original photo and here is an digitally altered photo both represent slightly different but a lethal version of information description so as the use of computers in our society has been progressing at a very rapid rate there are significant concerns relating to the human health which are uh, impacting the uh, actual uh, accessibility and physical abilities of humans so computer use can cause physical injuries such as if you use it for over a time repeatedly the repetitive stress injury can occur you can get carpal tunnel syndrome to the repetitive use of keyboard use or you can get other diseases uh, for mobile keyboard users and thumbpad use so one of the common disease is the jequirian tendonitis and computer vision syndrome can also occur you can get back aches for prolonged use heat from laptops you can get hearing loss from excessive use of headphones and you can get phone and texting related car accident which are also result of computer technology and finally you can get some possible radiation risk so along with the physical injuries computer use can also be problem for the emotional health because you get the stress due to the over changing technology and many jobs require computer use now that did not in the past and often availability of the technology 24 by 7 often stress you out therefore you have to be a very concern about your health if you are a constant user about in the computer 
or in the technology and the field of studies which deals with human health factors is ergonomics it is the science of fitting a work environment to the people who work there so this ergonomics can be applied to the technology and using good workplace design principle to help avoid physical problems so this ergonomics in general is not uh, limited only to the computers but with the uh, extent use of technology you can uh, augment or enhance the technology to further meet the needs of humans so here is an example in which you can say you can use different uh, items to uh, mimic the uh, effect or minimize the outcomes of prolonged usage such as you should have tilt and swivel monitors so then you can adjust it uh, as per your viewing angle you can use a document holder which will be helpful for you to get uh, information from different screens you should use proper user position sit straight to avoid back pain you should have adjustable table and adjustable chair and foot step and to uh, you should have a table to place your hands so that work environment was quite proficient with the excessive use of computers in recent past but with the advent of uh, new devices it has become more difficult and more uh, persistent uh, use of computers in our society and ergonomics becomes more difficult with portable computers and mobile devices but it is possible to improve the work environment so there are different devices that are invented such as travel mice and travel keyboards which can help you on to the go and you have the docking station or notebook stand that can be used with the portable computers at home or in the office docking station usually connects the computer to a permanent hardware such as a keyboard mouse and monitor and you can use notebook stand to avoid heat from um, having directly affected by the heat from the laptops so notebook stand raises the network up to a better height so if you are an occasional user you should not be worried much about uh, ergonomics and if you are a full time user you should use uh, these ergonomics method so that the impact of the technology and computer usage may not affect your physical and mental capabilities so here are some guidelines i would suggest you to go through these so for long term users we have variety of devices available that are designed to avoid physical problems due to the use of computers so we have in ergonomics keyboard and trackballs which are uh, different uh, for ease of use and which will affect uh, slightly lesser than the normal keyboard so much similar to the mouse we have trackballs we have document holders we have different anti lock keys the screens we have keyboard drawers so that we can easily place our hands with respect to the keyboard buttons so we usually have wrist supports for continuous users and even you can use computer gloves so good user habits can also help to avoid the problems so here are some good user habits so if you are using a computer for a very long time persistently you should cater for the conditions and you should employ some prevention mechanism the simplest form of injury that can occur with the prolonged usage of computer technology is the wrist arm hand soreness and injuries so here are some prevention measures you should use a bite touch on the keyboard you should rest you should keep fingers in a very relaxed environment and you should use ergonomic keyboards if you are using for a longer period of 
time. High strain is another problem. So you should have to adjust the lighting of the screens. You should constrain, concentrate on blinking your eyes more than often. So you should rest. You should make sure your monitor brightness and control settings are at appropriate levels. You should use a larger text and lower screen resolution if needed. So you should be able to read what is displayed on the monitor. Another problem is the soreness of stiff neck which can be avoided with the good posture. You should place the monitor and any document you need to refer to the wall using your computer directly in front of you. So you should also be able to adjust. You should use telephone headset if you have to spend significant amount of time each day. Another common problem is a backache which is a general fatigue and in long run it can develop to some severe diseases. So you should again use good postures, good ergonomics chairs, you should use a foot rest, you should walk around and stretch briefly at least once every hour and you should use alternate activities frequently. So the problem with the sound in the computer system can also affect uh, your ears and you may feel ringing in the ears and often hearing loss. So you should use, you should not use the headphones for a longer period of time. You should uh, wear the uh, over the ear headphones instead of ear buds. You should limit the amount of time you should use and you should limit the volume uh, to an appropriate level. And if possible, you should use the external speakers instead of headphones. Lead uh, discomforts or burns also occur from the repeated use of laptops or, or while placing on your legs. So as I mentioned here, apart from the physical issues, you can get some mental or emotional overheads. And one of the common problem is the information overload and you can get uh, from the irrelevant information away by having some good searching techniques and only getting the information which is uh, useful for you. So you should be able to manage your email which can help you to have email filters, flags and checking only periodically. So you should not be wasting your time continuously on social media so that uh, you are not bombarded with the information and you are unsure about which information to trust and which to distrust. Another situation can occur which is a burnout uh, which is a state of fatigue or frustration brought by the overwork. So if you are excessively using some uh, technology you can get this situation Therefore, you have to reevaluate uh, your schedule and you can ask for help and keep a healthy food and exercise routine. And worst of all, you can develop an internet addiction. So, an internet addiction is um, different from the internet uh, excessive usage. So, it is the state, the or the problem of overusing or being unable to stop using. A computer or the internet. So it has been a growing problem in many countries and you can see around yourself and many people are very much attached to emails, internet messaging or instant messaging and some are more inclined to search for the shopping websites, gaming and social networking. Another problem is the pornography which has been seen quite evident in many countries. So this has impacted emotional life or mental health at a very large scale and it can result in loss of relationships, even in job loss, academic failures, health problems, financial consequences, child cult study and in many cases it can result to suicide and more catastrophic actions. So it can be treated with similar to other addictions by seeking proper medical help. So here is a simple questionnaire which can help you to check whether 
you are getting computer addiction or not so take us some time and briefly look at each of these questions and answer honestly to yourself and if you feel you are going into the direction of internet addiction i would suggest you to move away from that particular addiction so that it it does not have significant effect on your uh, emotional and uh, cultural social life so along with that you often deal with the people online and you get across different kind of uh, personalities which affect you differently and many people online are targeting the victims so that uh, yeah, they can gain some emotional financial or social gain and one of the common uh, problem at the or personal safety issue at the internet is the cyber bullying and in most of the online communication even in uh, groups many children or teenagers are bullying each other or other children through this communication and it is very common today and it estimates about 50% of all us teenagers another problem which is the cyber stalking which is this repeated threats or harassing behavior between adults carried out through email messages or other internet communication method so it can include some uh, sending of some personal information or personal images or publicizing or making threats to publicize information and the content about the victim and sometimes it involves hacking into the victim's social networking pages and then making the uh, vicious demands so sometimes it escalates to personal violence so another problem we discussed in the previous slide has been quite prominent is the online pornography and which concerns parents and schools and it is very difficult to stop due to the different legal systems in different countries and different constitutional rights in different countries so internet can make it easier to arrange different meetings uh, which can result in the dangerous events between predators and surfers so whenever using online medium make sure to follow these principles you must be very cautious on the public forums and you should not really reveal your public information in any case no matter the circumstances you should not respond to insults or harassing comments you should employ safety tips for your children parents should monitor the internet activities you should have children use a computer in a family room they should be told which activities are allowed you should instruct them to tell a parent for of a request of a personal information or a personal meeting so another issue with the technology is the access of technology to the people and in most countries and even around globally it has created a digital divide a digital divide is a gap between those who can who have the access to technology and those who do not it can range from different countries different societies and even in the different uh, castes or sects therefore some person are allowed to have better communication technologies and some are deprived of such technologies so you can have it at different level and in the united states digital divide differences in technology uh, are impacted by the use of income race geographical area education and broadband internet use so there is uh, an increasing uh, demand to reduce the us digital divide which is important to ensure that all citizens have equal chance of being successful and in some cases some people choose not to use technology on their own however technology has very positive impact on the accessibility to better life 
therefore many assistive technologies are invented to to help the people with the physical disabilities and many hardware and softwares are designed for such purposes so you have assistive input devices which can include some daily keyboards which can help the, which have the key guards and one handled keyboards and voice input systems which can help the blind person and some uh, voice for uh, the output and input mechanism you can have assistant assistive pointing devices such as switches uh, feet mic uh, for disabled and head pointing systems and eye pointing systems with the people who are unable to talk or use their hands so these can also be used by general population as desired so similarly you have assistive output devices which can include the screen readers uh, which for the people who cannot see or read and for belly displays for the people who cannot see and the belly printer for similar purposes so the accessibility options can also be seen in windows working environment which includes some accessibility features so finally as you can guess the excessive use of computers have also affected the overall global environment and there is need to make concern for the matters which address the environment therefore a term green computing is formed which is the use of computers in an environmentally friendly manner the main problem with the computers is the energy consumption and the production of heat which are quite prevalent today therefore many programs are formed around the globe and one of the common spectrum is the energy star program which is developed to encourage the development of energy saving devices and there are different eco labels are used in many countries so in it energy consumption is a key success element and there are different uh, products and different projects which work on alternate powers now which can be used with the computers and other devices which has led to the invention of solar panels hand chargers and fuel cells The biggest problem with the computer equipment is the trash of electronic equipment. Electronic equipment is usually made from the chemicals and the metals which dissolve dissolves very difficultly which results in a e trash or e waste. So which is which are the disposable products such as paper, disposable camera, storage media, etc. this can include discarded hardware such as old computers phones TVs etc and many elements are found in hardware are also dangerous they can result in environmental concerns as they produce arsenic lead mercury and cadmium which are dangerous to overall environment however many of such waste produced in advanced countries is shifted or shipped to third world countries like ours and the countries like us which have very least amount of personal production in computer uh, industry are forced with more environmental concerns due to the production of such material and generally it has been decided globally to use green computing method which involves recycling of such products and many devices media can be recycled and some states are implementing disposable fees for new hardware to ensure they are disposed properly and you can also donate obsolete equipment instead of sending it to the trash or dustbin however data must be need to be completely removed for security and privacy reason there can also be an increasing amount of reuse capability such as recharge toner cartridges new purpose for computers etc 
So that concludes today's lecture and if you want to read more about the topic you can go through the recommended books or you can search the online medium. Thank you very much. If you have any question you can ask me.